What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode series. This is episode number 112 now guys, and we are going to start today's episode off by going into a game here against Stoke City in the Premier League. But before we do that, I want to thank you guys for all the support that you did give on the last episode. And we managed to get over 50 likes on that episode. If we could do the same on this video, guys, that would really be greatly appreciated. And it would show me that you are enjoying this series. In today's episode, we will be entering the January transfer window. And of course, we will be trying to sign some very, very nice players as well. And of course, we also have plans to sell players as well. But we are going to start things off by simming a game here against Stoke. See what result we do get. And we are simming this because we've still got three more matches before we get to the transfer window. So it would be worth simming at least one of these matches. Despite being down to 10 men for the majority of the second half, we still managed to get a 3-0 win. A very, very comprehensive victory. Prosperi getting two goals and Jordan Ibe also getting on the score sheet as well. But now we are coming up to the South Coast Derby. This is going to be a very interesting game and we will certainly want to get a win against our bitter rivals. Welcome everybody, Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, nice to have you along for the ride. Southampton in action today against Portsmouth. Into a match against our bitter rival Southampton in the South Coast Derby. Looking at their side, they've got a very, very good side. Much like last season, it's not really too much that has changed from last season. Omar Rowe is going to be a menace down that right-hand side. Luckily, we do have Hong Chul to deal with him. And hopefully, we can get a win in this match. We've had a good result in the past South Coast derbies. And hopefully, we can continue that record here. I think we beat Southampton in the South Coast derby at their home. I think it was like 3-0 last season. So, we've had a good result in previous seasons. we just got to make sure they don't get the cross into the middle. That's a good ball into the middle. And Yedlin was able to deal with that one. Oh, that's a brilliant run. I see over the top to Rikario Zivkovic. Is he onside? I think he is. And Rikario Zivkovic, honestly, he is just so unbelievable in this game. And already eight minutes in on the counter-attack. They were caught on the counter-attack. And Southampton just can't deal with that pace. Look at that. He heads it down. And then that weird, weird animation of the slide shot. Don't know how it always has so much accuracy. But it goes into the back of the net. And that really is all that matters. And his 10th goal in the Premier League so far. We have a really good record against Southampton. And it looks like we are going to improve on that today. Into Schneiderlin, the new Man United signing. And now they're getting it back in to Mayuka who has a shot. And it's a good block again by Yedlin. Delivered a few good crosses into the middle. And Ward-Prowse with a bit of an audacious effort there. Well, it wasn't really audacious. It was just terrible really. We played brilliantly in the first half. Now it's the second half. We want to continue that. Maybe get a goal. Seal off this victory because we played very well. We deserve to win so far. But you just don't know what's going to happen. Because this is FIFA, remember. Omar Rowe is an absolute menace. And they get it inside there. In to, I don't even know who that is. But they get it inside to the Southampton man. He gets the goal. And now he's celebrating like an arsehole. So that really is a little bit of a rub in the face there. And it is Gaston Ramirez who ended up getting the goal. Omar Rowe getting beaten by Yedlin. That is the only player that's ever going to beat Yedlin on this game. And Gaston Ramirez finishes off that chance. Makes it 1-0. Not 1-0. 1-0. What am I talking about? They level it up either way. And we've got some work to do if we want to get back in front. Mayuka the bazooka getting it back to Gaston. They have a shot and they have a shot again. And that, that second shot really was lethal, but Heaton made a good save. 1-1 one, one draw. I will take that in the South Coast derby. We could have got more from that match. But unfortunately in the second half, we did fade away a little bit. You look at that and you realise that on reflection, it was a fairly even game. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's Portsmouth against Manchester United. Time we headed straight for Portsmouth. Our last match before the transfer window opens and it couldn't be more of an important one. We are at the top of the table battling with Chelsea and United are also in third place. They're on 33 points, we're on 40 points and if they get a win in this match, if they beat us, they're back into the title race. 
The same team that we went with pretty much for the Southampton match. We are going with the same team for this United match. United's lineup is very strong. We all know that. It's a good, good lineup. And they're playing the same formation as us. So that could mean that we may struggle to find chances on goal. I would love to get a win in this match. We beat them in the Capital One Cup, I believe, Manchester United. And then we got knocked out by Bolton of all teams. So it was a bit of a shame we couldn't go on a cup run. But now that we're against them in the league, I'm hoping we can continue the same vein of result. And hopefully we will get a win in this match. Oh, wow. Rooney gets the ball back there and Heater makes a brilliant save. All of a sudden, he got the ball in a dangerous position. And that is a lethal shot and a brilliant save again. Di Maria to whip this one into the middle and that is a brilliant cross but Heaton is able to deal with that one very comfortably. I was thinking of replacing him but he's done very very well for us and he's even kept Ulreich out of the team. That's how well he's done. That really is not what I wanted to do but we still get it out here to Prosperi who's going to have a shot and oh I thought that was in. I really did. Look at that. I thought that had gone into the back of the net. My heart had dropped and I thought we'd scored another wonder goal with Prosperi. Not even a single shot on target. That is a bit disappointing. I thought we would have done better. Like we did in the Capital One Cup against them. We were really, really dominant. But in this match, it's been the total opposite. Manchester United have been the better side. No. Into Robin Van Persie and Lascelles. The world-class centre-back. Heading that one away out of danger. And injuring Rooney in the process. That's probably the best bit of defending that I've seen from any of our players this game so far. Oh my god, Tom Heaton probably should have caught that one. Bit of a tame effort by Rooney, but again, it's another shot for them and another shot that we aren't having on goal. Oh my god, how did we get that back there? Jesus Christ, that was a brilliant goal. Who was that by? He absolutely levered that shot. And I believe that's Gonzalez. Yes, it is. Getting his debut goal for Portsmouth. And look at that. I didn't even know that I'd get it back there. I was just trying to tackle one of the players there. One of the United players. We get it back. Gonzalez scores. And now we're 1-0 up all of a sudden. Did we seriously just win that game 1-0? Are you telling me that we won that game thanks to a lucky rebound shot that went into the back of the net? I wouldn't have believed you if at half time you would have said, we are going to win this match 1-0. We were getting absolutely dominated by United. I'm very, very surprised at that result. I'm obviously happy that we got the three points, but look at that. We only had one shot on target, and I don't even think that was Gonzalez's shot on goal. I really don't think that was even the shot on target. Really, really poor performance, but even though we're playing poor... We're still getting the result. We're getting the three points. And that really is a true sign of a champion. Florian Thalvin is going to be out for six weeks. So that means he can't complain if he doesn't get into the side. Luckily, that wasn't more of a first team player that got a training injury. As it is the first of the month, we will take a little look at the youth scout report. See if there are any good players in here. Again, terrible, 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 terrible youth players. Time for a scout report now. We will take a little look at the players that have grown for this month. Yedlin has grown to an 82 overall now. He is a very, very good right back. And he's got three assists actually in 21 games as well. Boga has finally gone up by plus one. He's grown to a 76 overall now. Gonzalez getting his debut goal against United. He's gone up to 81 overall as a result of that. Dele Ali has gone up to 77 overall. He's only played 14 games this season. And to be honest, he's been a little bit disappointing. And that will be the end of the squad report for this month, guys. Not really too many players growing this month. And now it's time to dive into the transfer market. Falvin's on the transfer list. We've also got Ross Wilde on the loan list. And we've got Bacar on the loan list. Wally and also Cartwright going out for a season-long loan. Thorgan Hazard has been put on the transfer list. Could be a realistic signing, I have to admit. He's been put on the transfer list. He's not wanted at Chelsea anymore. And he's in excellent form as well. I'm going to offer Thalvin as part of a straight swap deal. If they accept that, that would be absolutely awesome. Two are pretty much identical players going from club to club. I think this could be a very, very good deal. Let's wait and see if Chelsea accept it. A lot of you have been asking me to go in for this guy, Ruben Neves. I was a little bit put off by going in for him because he is a bit of a common signing on career mode. 
I don't know how much he's currently worth. I don't even know what his overall or any of his stats are because I don't have a scout report on him yet. As I don't really know too much about him, I can just take some hints from his wages, maybe his squad role. He's a crucial first team player at Porto. He must be a decent overall if he's a crucial player for this club. If he's a crucial first team player and on 60 grand a week for Porto, he must be somewhat of a decent player. So we will put in an offer of 2 million plus Dele Ali for the time being. Halilovic is another suggestion made by a lot of you guys, the Croatian that plays for Barcelona B. He is also on 60 grand a week and is also a crucial first team player. And like Neves, I don't have a scout report on him. So for the time being, I'm just going to put in a similar offer that I did for Ruben Neves. And again, he is a crucial first team player at Vitesse. I'm guessing he's going to be pretty decent. So I'm going to offer 2 million and I will also go ahead and offer a player as well. Remy Cabela could be the replacement that we could be seeing for Wilczynski or maybe even Thalvin as well. But I really don't want to sign this guy. I think he is a very, very nice player. Suits my play style. He may be 29, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last season of this career mode. Let us see what Newcastle say about this. PSG are interested in John Anthony Brooks here. They were interested in Lascelles in the summer and now they're interested in our other centre-back. How about £58 million instead of 27 PSG? I know you can splash the cash. If you want to take our prize assets away from us, you're going to have to be paying the big bucks. I'm sorry to say that. And the same will go for Cabela, but for some reason, he's actually on that stupid amount of money, 90 grand or 100 grand a week. We're going to bump that down to 90, see if he accepts on a lower wage. Right, so we have a couple of emails here, but we are going to be ending off today's episode right here. And if you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode, guys, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want me to sign any player in particular, do let me know in the comments down below, guys, as I will be open to your suggestions and hearing what you guys have to say about possible transfers. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.